so now we've moved inside so that we can show you the same software but with the television and uh, in this case I'm wearing a headset uh, this will allow me to just turn the mic on and off so that I can talk to you as you can see what well, you can't see but it's, it's trying to listen to me so close program I'm sick of this desktop new wallpaper alright so we'll go into the music quickly and show you uh, a couple uh, little extra things that you can do with the TV media monkey artist Claire Jenkins so this works uh, the same way as uh, it did when we were outside except that um, when we ask it questions um, it'll uh, tell us the answer but it'll also show us the answer what artist is this? what rating? Uh, and we can also ask for uh, just for it to display visual information by saying display So I can't hear the music right now. Set volume 80. Artist, OK, go. Display. Set volume 60. So is there anything else for the music that we need to cover? Not really. If you ask what album, will it show you the album? The way it... What album is this? Oh, no. Okay. It, won't, it won't show you a picture of it, but that's certainly possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, pause. So what if you don't get an artist's name exactly right? How precise do you have to be with an artist's name? Uh, well, it's generally pretty good. One uh, exception is that there was some confusion with remembering which bands had the word the in front of them. Mm. So you can say, tragically hip. Artists, tragically hip. Artists, Beatles. Uh, so you can say it with or without the the. Okay, so you can say Beatles or the Beatles or Tragically Hip or the Tragically Hip. Artist, the Tragically Hip. Okay. Display. Cool. Stop. Media Portal. So Media Portal is the software that we um, connect to for. Uh, movies and uh, pre-recorded television shows. It can also be used for pictures and music, but um, the, the Media Monkey is much more flexible for music and we're working on our own um, slideshow software, but that's really in the early stages. Go down to... Okay. Go right to... Select. Enter. Go back. Top menu. Go up to. Okay. Go down seven. Down. Down. Go right three. Select. Make it so. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the software remembers where you were last time when you were watching it. Later, I know what you do with the software in that car. Volume up. No, I don't think so. Subtitles. 
Why would they call it subtitles? Uh, so we have subtitles in Spanish and, and English. By saying subtitles, you cycle through subtitles. It'll it'll cycle through off and then various languages and then off. Mm -hmm. Subtitles. Switch windows. Right. Right to. Right. Select. Go back. Top menu. Pause. Play. Stop. Close program. So can you um, do things other than media related functions? Can you give other types oh, right. of voice commands? Um, so um, we've pre-recorded uh, or we've set up a few commands uh, to be able to use the web for various things. Um, so first off, uh, if I wanted to know the weather, I could say local weather. Go down 10. Go down 10. Uh, so as you can see, we have a nice week ahead of us. Um, check email. So this will pop me. It's pre-configured to go to my account and uh, log into my, my Gmail for me. Um, if we're listening to music, show monkey, play, um, artists, breeders, display. Okay, so the song is Cannonball by the Breeders. Um, I play guitar and uh, I like to be able to quickly play along sometimes, uh, and especially if my hands are full with, say, a guitar. It's nice to be able to say guitar tab. Cool. So that's the cannonball tab for the breeder song? Yeah, and I'm just going to use the keyboard here to make this easier. I haven't uh, built in the zoom control yet for the web browser, but. <laughs> 